If you haven't gone to Cellar Base, you really need to go now. This is a huge circulation. I'm from Ranger 9. Okay. Yep. Tornado, uh, they have, Ranger 9 has tornado about the west, about three miles west of uh, Chickasha. Yeah. Radar revealed clear pictures of the storm's track. Uh, Northeast of Gracemont, Hogar, Union City area. But tornado touchdowns could only be verified by chasers on the ground. It looks like it's a golf ball size. On the ground right now, right hand side, tornado on the ground, on the debris ground. cloud, debris cloud, there it is, multiple vortex tornado on the ground. We're in a really hilly area, I'm we can only see it when we get to the top of the hill. Now, the, the movement, the movement, I'm going to put it about 30 miles an hour. Okay, Here, we're about a half a mile from it again. Um, like, oh, we're getting uh, leaves falling out of the sky right now around us. Okay. What an intense circulation, Gary. Yes, sir. This thing has a very intense circulation. Keep talking to me. Yeah, I'll keep talking. Gary, we got visual of it. It's only about a half a mile down the road from us. It is uh, definitely a wedge. I mean, I, you know, based on visual, it's at least an F3. The storm grew to awesome proportions. Val Castor was using all his chasing skills to stay close enough to report on the tornado's movements, but positioned to keep himself and Amy out of danger. Oh, this thing is large, Gary. No, let's go back. Ranger 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 I'm just going to read you the time of arrivals, okay? We have a large, wedge-shaped, multiple vortex tornado on the ground west of Chickasha. By now, the chase reports and the live pictures had made it clear that this was a killer tornado. It could affect the burden area. Basically, it's, you know, it's almost there. Large... Passing the chaser's reports onto viewers, Gary England stressed that running away or hiding underground were the only options for survival. With this tornado, you need to be below ground level. Uh, you folks, it is moving over North Chickasha, Fort Amber, the circulation is about six miles across, the huge damage path. Near the community of Lawton, still southwest of Oklahoma City, the tornado grew to an F3 with wind speeds of up to 206 miles per hour. As well as the television station team, other less experienced chasers were still pursuing the monstrous cloud. Many had never seen such a tornado before. Amateur chasers Rick Jarvis and Chad Lawson found themselves driving through a rainstorm into serious danger. Oh! Ricky! Oh! God, look at that! Ricky! Okay, hang on. Look at another one! Another one! Another tornado! Two tornadoes! One, two, three! And Chicken Shay, you're moving south, but you turn around. Get out of there. Back. Rick, that's moving right out. Right we got to get out of here. Because we're thinking they can drop anywhere at any time right now. Southwest. Turn around. We're on the northeast side of uh, Chickasha. Looking to the north, we have a wedge-shaped tornado. Uh, could be in the range of 200 to 250 miles an hour. Go, 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 go! I gotta beat it. I can beat it along this way. No, Ricky, no, that's coming too close to us. Get on that side of this highway now. Ricky, oh my gosh. Ready? Ready? I'm getting nervous. This is bad. Look at that. Look at that. Rick, you just Ready? go. Ready? Yes. Be careful. Be careful. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Be careful, Ricky. This is not good. Right here. Right here. We're all right. We're all right. Yeah. Another stovepipe, a tornado okay. coming down. Uh, here, here, here. Yes. Those red lights are the Chickasha Airport lights right there. The red lights are on the south side of the airport right now. Go, 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 go. Finally realizing the danger, arguing chasers Rick and Chad spun their car around and escaped from the scene. We see some red flashing lights. That is the Chickasha Airport. Reference in the middle of the screen. It is north of the Chickasha Airport. Major damage at the airport. I repeat, major damage at the airport. It's leveled the entire building. It's leveled the entire building. 
We have any we have a new tornado on the ground, Gary. Mark Hill. Where? Boone, Oklahoma. New tornado warning on the airport. Further tornadoes were now touching down across the state. Reports were coming in from other members of the Channel 9 chase team who were following the new tornadoes in the outbreak. Mark, I'm going to give it northeast at, uh, at 30. Is that about right? That's correct, Gary. Continues to move northeast. Okay, is it still on the ground? Yes, it is. Okay, we have two tornadoes on the ground at the moment. Gary, the tornado continues to move. It's very ragged. Continues with multiple tunnels around the main circulation with quite a bit of debris rising at times from the funnel base itself. This is a storm that you need to be below ground level. It's extremely dangerous. As you look at this uh, tornado from Ranger 9 Live, uh, we have it uh, right along Interstate 44, not too far from the toll booth, moving northeast at about 30 miles per hour. Val, talk to me again. We see a large wedge tornado. Evidently, the circulation is bigger than what we thought. It is a huge circulation. It's throwing debris a, a mile around the tornado. In other words, a mile outside of the circulation, it's dropping big chunks of debris. Let's go to XL very quickly, and uh, we're going very quickly here. And this is a classic uh, tornadic hook echo, strong mesocyclone. It's becoming totally rain wrapped. It's uh, covering parts of I 44, moving into Newcastle. It's very deadly. This could conceivably be an F4. We don't know for sure. With an F4, you need to be below ground. But once again, a strong tornado continues. The greatest danger still came from the monster funnel being chased by Amy and Val Castor. We're on 149 Street right now. Uh, North South Street is Portland. its way toward the city's southern suburbs, with Val and Amy finally having to give up their chase, unable to drive through blocked roads. With Val cut off, Gary England continued to broadcast pictures from the chase helicopter. Astonishingly, through all the mayhem, the mobile radar trucks from Oklahoma University had also carried on with their chase. The scientists were now so close to the major tornado that their dual Doppler sets were recording unprecedented radar images. 2.2 kilometers. Oh boy. Two kilometers. If you feel like it's coming towards us or doing anything stupid, stop and do a U-turn. All right. Well, you see a lot of debris now. Don't we get into the debris? Yeah. Okay, I'll stop here. Oh, I can go into this picnic area. Yeah, turn there. Boy, there. Finally, the team pulled off the road and concentrated on obtaining the best possible data from both of their trucks. They recorded the highest wind speed ever known. But for the scientists, the true value of this ultimate chase is yet to be evaluated. The data will be analyzed for many months. In Oklahoma City, the chase became more fragmented as even experienced chasers were cut off by the intense destruction. Thank you. 
think with uh, no Ranger 9, we can still use a huge damage pack. Six tornadoes touched down on May 3rd, 1999. 42 people lost their lives. But without the media warnings, many more would have died. The damage is absolutely incredible, and Ranger 9 is following the damage path in the far distance. If you look on television, you'll see a huge tornado, power line flashes. Okay, you folks. Those warnings were only made possible by a combination of ever-advancing radar technology and ever more skillful chasers on the ground. As I looked at that thing, and I remember thinking, this is happening, and I can't really believe it's happening. It was really surreal. It was just unbelievable that there was this thing that appeared to be connected to the ground and the sky at the same time. This thing was just goring the earth. It was like it was part of the atmosphere and part of the earth. It was unbelievable. It was a gut-wrenching experience. 